Hello, welcome to today's video. We are on pages 44 and 45 of Alfred's All-in-One Book 3. So the name of this amazing song is called The Baseball Game. Yep. And this one here is going to feature two different hand positions. The left hand will be in G position, low G position, and the right hand will be in regular C position. So yeah, we have two different hand positions for this song. Ain't that amazing? Okay, so let's go ahead and start off by, as we always do, clapping the rhythm, and we're gonna count. We're gonna do this on our lap. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, three, four. One and two, three, four. Tie for the right hand. Two, three, four. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, three, four. One and two, three, four. Tie for the right hand. One, two, three, four. Continuing with the last system of this page. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Next page. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Tie for the right hand. Two, three, four. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, three, four. One, and two, three, Four tie, one, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, three, four. One, and two, three, four tie, one, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, three, four. Sorry about that. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, three, four, here we go. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, three, four. It's like there's a pedal at the end there. Okay, so this one here is an interesting piece of music because we have slurs that go from eighth notes to quarter notes, and sometimes they cross into the next measure. And while that is happening in the right hand, the left hand maintains itself non legato, and there are also accents. So let's go ahead and start off by playing the left hand. And we're gonna go system by system here. So be prepared for a little bit of a long video. Okay, here we go. So G position, we're just gonna play the left hand. There is no need to say the finger numbers at this point because you should already be as familiar as you can with the finger numbers in low G position. So we're just gonna say the note names. All right, so with the note names, here we go. And let's maintain ourselves non legato. Ready, left hand. One, two, three, four. C for two beats. G, C, G. Next one is D. G. Okay, this next measure here, and this is going to be similar for all the fourth measures of, or the last measure of every system. It will be accented non legato. So, D, B, A, G. So, really play those nice and heavy. Remember, accent does not mean staccato, it means simply to play the non legato note louder. And that's going to be louder than the rest of the notes in that system. As for the right hand, we're now in C position. Let's go ahead and play through the notes first. Ready? One, two, three, four. E, E, D sharp, E, E, D sharp, E, C, D, E, F, E, F, E, D, third. One, two, three, four. Now you may notice something very curious, and this repeats 
but we're out all throughout the rest of this piece for measures one and two of every system. It also does sometimes go into the third and fourth of every system. So what we're doing here is we have a mixture of articulations starting with non legato. So as you can see there, we have a little bit of a chromatic figure there. It's kind of like a mordant. We go from E, D sharp, E, lift, E, D sharp, E, lift. And the E, D sharp, E is to maintain itself non legato, or excuse me, legato. We don't want to play it like a two note slur, but we do want to come down and up at the end. So come down and lift at the end. Once again, E, E, D sharp, E, lift, E, D sharp, E, lift, C, D, E, F, E, D. Make sure that you try not to play those eighth notes legato because the other ones were, but this is non legato. And then third, tied for two measures. Okay, let's go ahead and listen to that very carefully. Here we go. One, two, both hands go. So there is that mixture of articulations between the hands. This one seems a little bit more complicated um, because it's tied over and it's going to the D sharp and back. Okay, going on to the next system. Once again, hands separately, starting with the left. D, G, non legato. D, G, and then to C, G. Here are the accents again. C, B. Right hand, F, F, E, F, lift, F, E, F, D, E, F, G, F, E, third, this time with five and three, E and G, three, four. Okay, so once again, I want to emphasize when you play that little mordant figure with the right hand, you come down with the wrists and lift after playing the last note, which is a quarter note in the little tiny legato phrase. Okay, let's put both hands together. Here we go. Mix articulations. One, two, three, four. Oops, let's try the end. We can see the next measure a little bit similar from the first, so just a few differences. C, G, C, this is the last system, and then we go to B, B, G, here are some accents again, B, G, A, B, B, and for the right hand, E, E, D sharp, E, E, D sharp, E, C, D, E, D, Ties here, both hands together, and go. Oh, you may have noticed there a little something. So, for a moment, when you have your second finger on the D sharp, you will lift. Come before coming down with G and E, but you have to lift here. So you're taking turns doing the lift with the hands and make sure that you do stay faithful to the legato while lifting for non legato only after and before the next beat. Okay, let's go on to the next page 45. Left hand one, two, three, four. A. Quarter notes are just regular non legato. G, A, B, D, D, G, A, B. But you did notice there was 
a little mezzo di voce, which means we're going to get louder and then we're going to get softer again, still with non legato for the right hand. And, excuse me, uh, non legato for the left hand. Now, for the right hand, let's go over these notes, starting on F sharp. An accidental being placed in this music, here we go. F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, D, E, F sharp, G, two, three, four, tie, F, E, D, and then I have that natural there while you decrescendo, okay? Be really mindful of those little dis differences and um, articulations, dynamics in the music. It's best to address them at the very beginning of your learning this piece, so you don't have to unlearn the mistakes. Okay, let's continue now with both hands together. One, two, three, four. Getting louder here. And then going on to the next system. Here we go, where it says team comes to back. Left hand. C, G, C, G. D, G, accents, D, B, A, G, right hand, E, E, D sharp, E, E, D sharp, E, C, D, E, F, E, D, third. Looks like the very first system is being repeated here. And look at that, there is a decrescendo there. Interesting how we, excuse me, a crescendo. So not only do we have a crescendo, but we have accents. Let's play that together. One. Two, three, four. Really loud. <laughs> so not only do you have accents, but you have a crescendo. So let's see how that's going to sound. And continuing on for the next system. And when they swing, I will sing. D, G, D, G. Accents, C, E, A, G, right hand, F, F, E, F, F, E, F, D, E, F, G, F, E, third, tie to both hands now, here we go. system C G C rest three four A C A rest three four and for the next right hand here we go E E D sharp E E D sharp E C D E F F E F F E F D E F Alrighty both hands now one Two, three, four. Rest to the left hand. And now for the now the last system. Here we go. Right hand. Assume your left hand. Notes. G A B G A B C C B C C B C. Have those little Morton fingers figures being added to the left hand now. Right hand, G, G, F sharp, D, G, F sharp, G, F, E, D, C, D, E, D sharp, E, E, D sharp, third. And there is a retardando at the end. We'll go ahead and put that together with both hands. Here we go. One, two, three, four. say to add a pedal at the end if you want you can but it's not really essential since you are holding this with the fermata okay so that is the entire piece of the baseball game let's go ahead and do a full run through now ready here we go march tempo one two three four maintaining the right hand 
Louder. When it needs to be. So that's a complete performance of this song, Baseball Game. Let's practice each part as we just spelled out for you today in this video, each hand separately, going over the articulations and the accents, and of course the crescendos and decrescendos. Let's be very careful with the mixed articulations, okay? Alrighty, thanks for